look back over my career and I look at some of the big disruptions that I've witnessed, I remember the IBM PC in 1981, and I saw that for the first time. I said, the world will never be the same. Same thing with the first spreadsheet when I saw Lotus 123 in 1983, then with Netscape and the iPhone. But the two most recent huge disruptions are going to change the world forever. The first one, when the price of solar energy became less than fossil fuels in 2018 and been declining ever since. And the second, with the introduction of ChatGPT in November of 2022. I remember seeing that. I don't know if you felt the same way, but I saw that and said, nothing will be the same after these two big innovations. I'll talk to you about each of those and then some lessons learned. First, when PV became less than the price of fossil fuel and has gone down ever more since, you now can make electricity for the first time cheaper than any other way. In fact, it's crazy to think that the cheapest way in all of human history now to make electrons is to point a piece of glass at the sun. I was especially pleased to see all the solar panels on the roof of your factory. And in fact, Germany was very responsible for this too. China has driven down the price, but the early investments from Germany, the early subsidies from Germany, the only belief in this from Germany really helped drive down the price of PV panels to now we have to add storage and other things to make this universally accessible. Incredible. A window at Home Depot costs four times as much as a PV panel is the same size. And the window just lets the light through, and the PV panel puts out electricity. It's just incredible that mass production and inventiveness, like what you saw with the GAN wafer, that kind of inventiveness can drive down the price to make things really, really affordable and to really change the world. And then ChatGPT, a big tipping point in history just a few years ago. It's really going to affect everything. Here's why I think it's going to affect everything so much. There's huge disruptive changes that occur when the price of something approaches zero. So with the internet, the cost of distribution approached zero. Look how much change that brought. With the cloud, the cost of storage approached zero. Now with generative AI, the cost of creating knowledge is approaching zero. That's going to lead to so many new things. The note what came out and said, the note Coastal came out and said that 80% of 80% of all jobs will be replaced in 10 years. That's unbelievable. 64% of labor might be transformed in the next 10 years. We've seen incredible growth, incredible new changes, and AI to me feels right now, in 2024, like the internet did in 1995, with an explosion of opportunity. And I feel that AI will be like water or like electricity, ubiquitous. We won't think of a company as an AI company just like we don't think of a company as an internet company. We just think that every company will use AI, every company uses the internet, every company uses electricity. So sustainable differentiation will be very challenging, but there's a big opportunity when there's this kind of disruption to do new innovation. So I tried to break down what kinds of different AI applications there are, different ways to deploy AI to be competitive. And I broke it down into these three categories. Now any idea might include a multiple of these categories, but the first category would be looms. Looms automate a person's work. The second one would be slide rules, where you make a person better or more powerful. And the third category would be cranes. You enable someone to do something they could never have done before. That really is a powerful extension. And I think so many new ideas are going to happen in all three of these categories. And Infineon is powering so many of these with the technologies that I saw outside the demo area just today. With AI, you'll be able to do the equivalent of launching a million PhDs to solve a problem. The power that we have will have is incredible. You've seen the power of large language models, but we'll soon have large action models, large video models, and much, much more. People are building even models of the world, the physical world, to bring to robotics. So I think that as the cost of knowledge approaches zero, and as we can deploy it, our brains will still be powerful to figure out what problems to solve, but we'll have this new power tool at our disposal to help solve them. I think that AI might actually be underhyped when you think of how much is possible with this. So if there's this much change going on, how do we smartly participate in these disruptions? And how do we thrive in this disruptive world? So I'll share with you five lessons that I've learned over the years that I think most apply to this new age. These lessons come from starting companies at IdealLab for 28 years. You heard that I started 150 companies. You heard that 50 of them were wildly successful, 40 of them are still operating, but 60 of them failed. So I learned a lot of lessons from 60 failed startups. You have to be really, really bold to keep on doing it over and over again when you have that many failures behind you. But at least I can share with you some of the lessons learned from those that hopefully might be beneficial to you. These are some of the companies over the years. We've had 5,000 ideas that we write down and try and figure out are they worthy to form a company. Then we pick the best ones and we incorporate 150 of those, and then we had the successful IPOs and M&A as a result. So here are the five lessons, and I'll share this presentation with you afterwards. 
These five lessons, I'm going to go through each one of them with just one minute each. Challenge us to ask flow, use naysayers as rocket fuel, find great times.